Good morning. Top of the morning to you. Um, I'm at the same rest stop as last night, and uh, the one that I stopped at yesterday, Astoria, is across the Columbia River. It's, uh, it meets the ocean right up there. It's pretty cool over here. You can see the tide coming in and out, the water, uh, the river flowing out. Um, so, I think we're going to try and get somewhere kind of north of here and head towards the Olympic National Forest area and do a little loop down by Seattle and then kind of head back up. Not all today. Maybe we'll get to the National Forest today. Let's hit the road. stopped at a place called Ocean Shores, Washington. Um, down here at the further, furthest most south, southernmost, furthest point, you know what I'm saying, the southern part. Um, it's pretty cool. There's a bunch of uh, driftwood on the beach. Um, driftwood, of course, is really cool, like souvenir. Depending on if it's a state park or a regular beach, you can, you can take some. Uh, looks like people are just kind of hanging out. It's not too cold. I'd say it's like maybe mid 50s to 60 degrees something like that. Uh, looks like there's a dude uh, on the uh, jetty out there fishing in his orange outfit. That's pretty cool. Let's go uh, poke around a little bit. Now along the beach here there seems to be quite a few shells. These looks like uh, some kind of clam shell but uh, like I said they're just littered about everywhere. It's pretty cool. This looks like a Dungeness crab here. There's one. There's a uh, some kind of an arm. There's another one. Here's the rest of the body. There's another one of the big shell part. Um, and they're just kind of littered up and down the beach here. Here's what I'm talking about with a nice uh, clam shell here. Um, also, I just noticed this looks like a silver dollar, which broken half um, and it looks like <laughs> this is, I don't know what this is some kind of um, it's not beach glass it's some kind of um, stone or I don't know about gem but some kind of you know cool rock thing I'm gonna keep that forgot to mention you can drive on the beach here um, although <laughs> I don't think I'll be taking a day in the adventure bus on the sand uh, it is off season. I don't see a car anywhere down here. And the last thing I want to do is get stuck in the sand. You know what I'm saying? smokes this place is absolutely incredible it is so beautiful out here I just pulled up to a place called Lake Quinault I'm just trying to find a little place to get closer to the water because it is one of the most majestic lakes I've ever seen so I wonder where we can see it isn't that incredible I'm gonna get down to the water over here to the left side but I don't even, I can't tell up from down right now, it's so crazy. I am now in 
inside a campground for the National Forest. Um, <laughs> I said something at the Tiny House Festival, which I guess is impressive. In almost a year of being on the road, I've never paid for a place to park overnight or I'm sleeping in it. It's all like say they paid for the bus to sleep overnight or park overnight, but I've never paid. Which, if you're on a budget and you're doing the van life, bus life, you don't pay for campgrounds or RV parks. <laughs> you just find a little spot on the side of the road or a Walmart. <laughs> What an absolutely amazing, amazing place. I think it's so amazing that it deserves its own day, which will be tomorrow. And that way I can go find a place with better Wi-Fi, better uh, cell service, and do some editing tonight. Just right off the main road, there seems to be some sort of fire road, 2273. Let's have a peek. There we go, this is what I'm talking about. Nice little pull out, nobody around, pretty close to the road, plenty of uh, space for, you know, logging trucks to, to drive by if it is uh, still in use. I'm gonna say this is a good spot for the night. And here's a view from the outside. Um, it is now about six o'clock. Uh, I'm gonna try and get into a different habit of uh, stopping earlier in the day, like five, six, something like that, uh, because normally I'm driving and driving and driving until it's dark, well, summertime dark, like eight o'clock, I'm so tired and I don't even edit uh, in the afternoon or the evening, it's always like been in the morning, so I also need to catch up. Um, and also, I know there's a couple people who are disappointed that I took a little break and didn't update you. Um, so it's actually a good thing you guys were annoyed because that means you care. So apologies for that, but thank you for caring. Uh, for a long time, I didn't really think anybody cared. So <laughs> if you weren't upset, uh, I guess you didn't care or as much or take it personally. So uh, next time I will try and give you guys a heads up. Uh, in a couple of weeks from today, two to three weeks, I will be going off to shoot a web series for a few days. Uh, I'm not sure if I will be vlogging that, um, and I have some other projects as well. Um, and someone was asking, because I did post on Twitter, would I stop this for a TV show? You know, the more I do this, the more I like it, um, and the more I deal with TV people, the more I dislike them. So this is a lot of fun, uh, very challenging to do everything by myself, but uh, I think it's going pretty well so far. So um, I'm going to cook some dinner.